So our first video we want to talk about soaps. So for, for me, I haven't tried a lot. I've, I've done some, I, I did shampoo and conditioner for a while. Actually, I didn't use beard product for a long time. And Jansen kind of reprimanded me multiple times. I, I did. Um, the thing about it is a lot of soaps out there aren't actually soaps. There's a, there's a key difference. Um, shampoo is a detergent. Now detergents strip your hair of all its natural oils, they strip everything away from your hair. They're really caustic and toxic to your hair. Now, what's great about um, what's been my favorite, I don't know about you, no, it's one of my favorite has been Grandpa's Pine Tar Soap. Now, this is an actual soap. It's made from natural pine tar. They actually take uh, uh, the roots out of pine trees and put them in a big kiln, and they burn it, and it creates this thick, dark, kind of sappy liquid. Um, it smells like a campfire. I mean. The thing smells incredible, right? I think you made that up. No, no what? Is it on the box? Did you read what? that on the box? What are you talking about? <laughs> the kiln thing? So what they do is they take a big no, they, tree, they, they, do that. they compress they it, do. they compress it, they pull out okay. all of the, uh, the fibers. There's going to be a link in the, the description wood. to the video that I watched that actually shows you the process of making your own pine tar. But you don't have to do that. <laughs> This soap is great. It smells, it smells like, you can agree on that, right? Well, it smells okay. like a camera. I, I do want to talk about the smell. Right, I do want to talk about the smell. Because the smell for me when I first started using this soap was just like overpowered. My wife it actually is. was like, it whoa, is. our whole bathroom smells like a okay. freaking pine forest. But and the I moment like, I used it, my wife was like, wow, a man lives in this house. Oh, I, I think your wife was just like, wow. I want to start a campfire right now in the bathroom. <laughs> anyway, but as you use it more, actually the smell dissipates. It's, it it's, it's when you first really start does. it, the smell is like, it is really overpowering, but like this thing lathers like none other. Oh, like, incredible, I'm amazed. incredible lather. Just a little bit, throw it on there, and it just, and it lasts forever. It that's, that's one of the main so things I love about So going back this. to it, with, with the lather, this is all natural. And because it's a soap, it actually has natural oils in it which help your beard maintain the healthy oils that keep beards looking great. So that's why this is always going to be on my shelf and in my shower for, uh, for keeping a beard um, great. And what's great about this too is you can actually use this every day. Now, mm -hmm. it's a debate. Yeah. When you grow a beard, should I wash my beard every day? I think that's a personal decision. I've tried you know, only washing once a week. I've also tried doing it every day. Um, so see, with this soap, I haven't, it hasn't caused a problem. I, I, don't, I don't know, because yeah. like, I, when my beard was shorter, yeah. I, I would like maybe once a week. But it, like when I wake up, my mustache is just like all over the place. It feels like gross, like there's drool in it. It's like nasty, right? So I like to wash it every day. Oh, and I haven't know. noticed, as long as you're using some of the other products that we're going to talk about in other videos, yes. it, it, it really doesn't make a difference I in think, my opinion. I think that's a really good right? point you bring up is as long as you're using like soaps that are good for your beard and then helping your beard like receive the oils and moisturizers it needs to keep it strong. Cause this is also, we're talking about being brittle. Have you ever saw, seen some guy with like a beard that had so much potential, but it just looked so brittle. Oh, you mean mine looked, six months ago? Or yeah, when mine, I wasn't using mine two months ago, <laughs> <laughs> so which this, just happens because it happens, it just, you know, yeah. hair is hair. So but it Especially takes like living in this area. So, so in Utah, it's super, super dry. dry. Oh, and gosh. So I wasn't using any products. And I remember I'm like, my beard is so rough. It just hurts. And Jansen was like, why don't you just use product? What's wrong with you? And I was like, well, it, I, that's it a good like point. It felt like death I, when I touched it. So I actually started using product and he, he made some suggestions and I tried out a few others. And uh, it took a while. And, and I would highly recommend using products right away with short beards. Now, now the other thing that I always consider is price, right? Like yes. that's, that's, that's one of the big things. And this is what I love about okay. this soap. Six dollars, right? Price lineup. I mean, you can find six, it four, dollars. four to six dollars. Actually, yeah. like um, natural health food store has this online. It's going to be closer to seven, like Mike is saying. Oh yeah, I, at, on Amazon. Yeah, we'll we'll yeah, have yeah. links down below where you can buy exactly. them on Amazon and stuff like that. Um, so. But in terms of the quality of the product, it's great, 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 great. Let us know what you guys think about yeah. um, any of these soaps. If you found any better ones or ones that you really like, please let us know. We'd yeah. like to hear I'd about that. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe. We got lots more reviews videos coming. Um, so check it out. Cool. Save the beard. Save the beard. Save it.